You're also probably aware that the PRC has for many years pre-positioned on U.S. critical infrastructure for a potentially disruptive cyber attack, setting up backdoors to enable it to cripple vital assets and systems in the event of crisis or conflict. And by critical infrastructure, I mean transportation hubs, power generation, electrical grids, communications, water supplies, and the like. What is public but is less well known is that the PRC has been doing the same pre-positioning to many other countries around the globe, including some who are our allies and partners. This global pre-positioning activity is truly massive in size and breathtaking in scope. Because Beijing has a long-standing, ongoing effort to channel resources into emerging technology and breakthrough industries, we have to be very careful from a national security point of view. These areas in which cyber, semiconductors, quantum, and AI, they all have significant dual-use applications. My point is, technology itself is an extension of geopolitical power. Where technology is made, how is it produced, and what countries have control over technology have absolutely national security consequences. Which means we can't just pace the PRC. We have to stay ahead of the PRC in the cyber and emerging technology competition. And this is how cyberspace and emerging technology can promote human flourishing. Human flourishing is the idea of the physical and mental well-being of individuals and the communities they live in. I argue that only the United States and its allies and partners with our commitment to individual dignity and freedom can deliver such a vision to the rest of the world.